disappointed. Rod Stewart drops major bombshell on Harry and Meghan's treatment of Queen. Rod Stewart, who performed at the Platinum Party at the Palace on Saturday, was disappointed by Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's treatment of the Queen ahead of their shock exit from the firm, the musician once revealed. Rod Stewart delivered a much-talked-about performance at the pop concert forming part of the wide-ranging Platinum Jubilee celebrations, delighting royal watchers in the show outside Buckingham Palace. His rendition of Sweet Caroline was chosen as a tribute to the Queen by the audience of BBC Radio 2, but it appears it would not have been Sir Rod's choice, with the musician introducing the track by announcing, This isn't a fun one to sing but the BBC made me sing it. Make it fun for me. But the guests of honour appeared to enjoy the act, Prince William and his son Prince George were seen singing along, while Prince Charles and Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall eagerly waved their Union Jack flags. Among the royal attendees at Saturday's star-studded event were Princess Eugenie and Jack Brooks Bank, Princess Beatrice, and Eduardo Mopelli Mozzi, Zara and Mike Tyndall and Princess Anne and Sir Timothy Lawrence. However, notably, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, who travelled across the pond to join the Platinum Jubilee celebrations, were not present. A spokesperson for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex said they were spending the day privately. Their daughter, Lilibet Diana, celebrated her first birthday on Saturday, and the couple reportedly threw a party for her. Meghan and Harry made their first official public appearance since leaving the royal fold on Friday, when they attended the service of Thanksgiving for the Queen at St. Paul's Cathedral. As the couple arrived, they were greeted by boos as well as cheers from onlookers lined up outside the cathedral. Sir Rod has previously hit out at the couple, who stepped down from the firm in 2020. Shortly before their exit, the singer blasted Meghan and Harry for skipping Christmas in Sandringham. In December 2019, he said, The Queen is 93. I flew round the world to be with my mum and dad at Christmas because I knew they didn't have many left. I was disappointed Harry and Meghan decided not to spend Christmas with the Queen. If I was Harry, I'd think there was plenty of time in the future to have Christmases on my own or with Meghan's mum. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex chose to spend the festive season in Canada with Meghan's mother, Doria Ragland. Appearing in British public for the first time in over two years Meghan Markle showed the world she was nervous during her jubilee visit. That's according to one body language expert who said when the Duchess of Sussex arrived at St. Paul's Cathedral with her husband Prince Harry, she was visibly nervous, reported. Jesus Enrique Rosas, known as the body language guy, studied Meghan's body language from arriving at St. Paul's Cathedral to sitting through the service and then leaving. He highlighted a regular move Meghan made which suggested she was nervous. Upon exiting the car, Prince Harry made sure his wife was looking her best, and gestured to her to check the collar of her dress, which she did. Jesus commented, When I was checking the footage, I noticed everyone was mentioning Meghan fixing her collar and it was always the left side, something has to be said about pacifying gestures. We do this kind of gesture to calm ourselves, it can be fixing our clothes or touching our faces, or in the case of Harry, touching his, wedding, ring. This is a way to vent stress and it actually works, that's why we do it. But at the same time, we are telling the world we are nervous. In the case of clothing, maybe the fit isn't right and we feel a bit uncomfortable, but for any fitting adjustments, we usually pull, pull sleeves, skirts. But this was a very deliberate move for her, Megan, to touch her collar flap, she's not really adjusting any fitting. The body language guy also studied Meghan's facial expressions to see if she was nervous or uncomfortable. 